Boston Hill Park has been a staple in Oviedo for decades. Tucked away on Central Avenue, this park is named after World War II Army veteran Harry Boston Sr., also known as Big Newt. He came to Oviedo in the 1940s and made history by building a baseball diamond for black children. Now his face is one of many painted on this 500 square foot mural just five minutes up the road at Round Lake Park. I'm glad to, you know, shine a light on these individuals. The city's public arts board selected Xavier Moss, who's from Oviedo, to showcase black history and highlight those who changed the community. The mural not only is beautifully um, um, graphically, um, but uh, his, it, it also tells the story, right, of the main characters uh, that played uh, a role in building Oviedo. On the, if you're looking at the mural head on, all the way on the left hand side, the largest um, portrait is Prince Butler Boston. He was really prominent in the community um, just because of agricultural contribution. Moss said he did a lot of research to find the pioneers he wanted to feature. This includes professional baseball player Hal King, who started his career in 1962 in the Negro League. Gladys Holmes Smith, an elementary school teacher before and after integration, and Marie Jones Francis, nicknamed the midwife of Sanford. She delivered 40,000 babies in her 32 year career, dating back to the 1940s. I just wanted to like take the time to like dig and see if I could find like specific names. And um, then like you start like learning about like Jackson Heights. Like I found Henry Jackson who it's named for. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. There's a lot Moss says he didn't know about Oviedo, even though he's lived there nearly 20 years. He hopes this permanent mural serves as a visual history book, educating people just like it educated him. Each individual story isn't like spelled out there, but hopefully like they can see the key and be like, let me go and Google this person and like see what I can find about him. And I'll admit, even I learned a lot about my hometown while doing this story. Xavier Moss says this was the first time he ever painted a mural this size. If you want to learn more about the pioneers he featured or if you just want to see more of his work, head right now to WESH.com.